Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will install a free plugin that will give you an option to create a contact form on the Elementor website. Definitely, there are many free contact form plugins that you can use on any WordPress website and add contact form on your WordPress website. However, the free plugin that we are going to install in this video is specially designed for Elementor. So you can create any kind of layout using this contact form plugin. Here you will see an example of the contact form. You can change the layout, you can change the background color and you can modify this contact form. You can modify the layout of this contact form using Elementor. Here is how you can edit this contact form just like the Elementor. So if you want to create a beautiful contact form on Elementor website, you can definitely go for this free plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And on this website, I'm using Elementor Page Builder. And I also have Elementor Pro installed on this website. Now here I want to add a contact form on this website. So what I'll do, I'll go to the plus sign and here I'm going to search for form. And I can see one option here, form. I'm going to drag it and drop it here. And you will see a simple contact form added to the page. This form is a part of Elementor Pro plugin. So if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, then you will not see this form option on your Elementor website. So I'm going to delete this one. Now, I have already published a video about how to use this Elementor Pro contact form. I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch that video if you have the Elementor Pro installed on your Elementor website. There are many free plugins that you can use to add the contact form on any WordPress website, not just Elementor, on any WordPress website such as Contact Form 7, WP Form, Forminator. So these are the free plugins that you can use. And I have already published videos on these contact form plugins. I'll give you the link in the description box. In this video, we are going to install a free plugin which will give you an option to add the contact form which is specially designed for Elementor Page Builder. So let's go to the dashboard and then go to plugins and click on add new. Now I'm going to search for Elementor form. Now here you will see different options, Forminator, Elementor, this one is Contact Form Plugin, Essential Add-ons. So these are not the, actually these are the add-ons. The one we are looking for is Met Form. This is the plugin that we are going to install in this video. I have already published video on this WP Forms also. It can be used on any WordPress website. So this is the form that we are going to use. So instead of Elementor form, I'm going to search for Met form. So this is the name of the plugin, Met form. So here you will see that option. Click on install now. So here you will see that Elementor contact form builder. So this is specially designed for Elementor page builder. Click on activate. Done. So the plugin has been installed. Now let's go to the demo page, refresh it. Now click on the plus sign and search for form. Now here you will see the option met form. So click on it, drag it and drop it here. So this is the first form that we are going to add on this website. So here you will see the option edit form, click on it. Now you will see two different options, select form and new. So as of now, we do not have any form created on this website. So we will not be able to select any form here. So I'm going to create a new form. So if you have already created any form, then you can you will see the list of forms here and you can use that form. So now let's go to the new and here you will see different options. These are the pre-designed contact forms that you can use. This is simple. This is simple contact form. And this one is form. This is admission form, booking form. If you want to see the demo, you can simply click on this option and it will open the demo. So this is how the form will look. First name, last name, mobile number, email address. This is the date. 
so this is a booking form for i guess the hotels number of adults number of children and the comment box this is how this form will look so i'm going to select a simple form if you want to start from the scratch you can simply select this blank one so i'm going to select this one and click on edit form so this is how the form will look so this is a pre-designed form now here you will see the recapture option so if you want to add a recapture then you need to get the recapture keys from google so once you get the recapture keys you can go to elementor and then go to settings then go to integration and here you can enter the site key and secret key for the recapture and save the settings once you enter the recapture settings recapture keys you will see this option enabled here so right now i'm not going to add this recapture so i'm going to delete this option right click on it and delete this one okay now this is the first name last name email address subject now here you will see different elements or the different fields that you can add on this met form so here you will see email number telephone date time select select is nothing but the drop down checkbox radio switch range slider so there are many different form fields that you can use so what i'm going to do here i see subject i do not want this I'm going to delete this one so right click on it and delete this one so we have removed the subject now i want the telephone number so i'm going to select this one here you will see telephone drag it and drop it into this column now this is the form field and here you will see the settings of this form field so it shows the position here this is the label telephone and this is the placeholder here you will see the placeholder here and this is the help text here you will see the help text these are the help text so i'm going to use something here enter so here you will see the help text now the style of this field looks different than this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the same style for the telephone also so right click on this email address field copy it now right click on this telephone and click on paste style so it is going to apply the style of the other field and it will look similar to this one okay so this is how you can match the style of the new field now if you want to add more fields you can add more fields so simply like the elementor column you can customize you can change the style setting of this one now i want to make it required so i'm going to go to telephone and here at the bottom you will see settings make it as required if you want to validate you can validate by character length and this is the warning message Okay, now this is the comment if you want to add more sections you can also add more section right now this is two column let's see how we can add more so click on this option and i want to add some columns so i'm going to use section so here you will see the option inner section i want it below telephone number so i'm going to drag it and drop it below this one so the new section has been added i want it three columns so i'm going to add a new column here so right click on it and click on add new column so here you will see three column section okay now here i'm going to add let's say select option drag it and drop it here so it's like a drop down and i'm going to make it people this is just an example placeholder will be please select number of people item is one person this is the first option the second option will be two people third option will be three people if you want to add more you can simply click on add new item you can select this value and put change the number here So we have got different options one person two people three people so the number of people can be selected from here go to settings make it required 
and I want the same style here. So I'm going to right click on email address, copy it, right click on this one and click on paste style. So it will look similar. If you do not want to show the label, you can select this no and it will not show the label. Right here, I want to use, let's say date. So I'm going to use select, look for date, drag it and drop it here. And label will be, let's leave it as it is date. Placeholder will be select date. So it's going to select the date. If you do not want to show the help text, you can remove that one. You can keep it as it is blank. Paste style. And here I'm going to select time. Placeholder will be select time. Copy the style, copy and paste style. All right, so some everything looks good. If you want to change the background color or the color of the text, you can simply select that option and go to style settings. Here you will see the black color of the label. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to red. Let's make it blue. So here you will see the change in the color. You can change the typography. You can change the size. All the style settings option are here. You can simply make changes. This is for the input option. So this is the input option. If I type in something, you will see this black color here, dark black. So this is how it will show. Now this is for the placeholder. This is the placeholder, color of the placeholder. And this is the color of the help text. If you want to change the color of the column, you can change the color, select the column, go to style and change the background color of the column also. So let's, let me change the color of all the columns. So I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to use this one to this column. Yeah, for these three, we are going to change the color. Right now, let's select the button and you can change the color of the button. Select the button, go to style. And from here, you can change the color settings of the button. Okay, now here you can change the content. Right now it says send message. You can make it submit or whatever text you want on the button. You can change alignment of the button. If you want to add icon, you can also add the icon. All right, now let's update this. Okay, now let's click on form settings. We need to change the settings of the form. So this is the title of the form. Let's make it contact form. So this will be the title of this particular form. This is the success message required login. So do you want people to be logged in? So no, leave it as it is, leave it as it is store entries. So if you select store entries, all the entries will be stored in the database. So you will be able to see the entries on the WordPress dashboard also, and you will receive the email also. Okay. You can limit the total entries. So leave it as it is. If you want them to redirect, to any specific page after submitting the form, you can type in or you can paste the link here. So they will be redirected to that particular page after submitting the form. Now let's go to confirmation. If you want to send a mail to the customer after submitting the form, you can select this option and it will send the email to the user. Okay, now let's go to notification. This is the notification mail to the admin. So whenever someone fills up the form, it will send you the email address. So it will send the email to your email address. So let me send. This will be the subject. And here you can enter your email address. So the form will go to this particular email address. If you want to add multiple, you can simply put a comma and add new email address there. And this is email from so here you can type in your domain email address any email address that is related to your domain reply to leave it as it is and admin note if you want to add any admin note you can add it here so leave it as it is now let's click on save changes let's go to form settings again and here go to integration if you want to integrate this form 
with third party mailing services such as HubSpot, MailChimp. You can enable it and you can add the required information here. Okay, so let's click on save changes. Okay, now let's click on update and close. So here you will see the form. I'm going to update it. Now let's view the page. Now here you will see the contact form. So this one looks really good as compared to other contact forms. Here you can customize the layout of the contact form according to your website requirement. Now if you want to use the same form on the other page, you can do that also. You simply just use the same form just below this one. As an example, click on the plus sign and go to form. You will see the met form, drag it and drop it here. Now click on edit form. Now here you will see select form. So this is the form that we have already created. And if you want to use a new one, you can create a new one here. So you can use the pre-designed form also. So let's go to the dashboard. And here you will see the option met form, click on it. Now here is the form that we have created. You can see the form here. If you want to make any changes, you can make changes to this form also. So this will be reflected on all the forms. So you can make changes to the contact form using the Elementor. So this is one of the best free contact form plugin that you can use for the Elementor website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.